welcome to the Giving Flower Podcast. I'm your host, this host, hostess, host. Yeah, but you know what? Hostess because I'm a female. But anyway, I'm your host, Kimber Lolly. Kimberly is my name. You can call me Kimber Lolly. And my co-host, Alexander. Excellent. Good deal. I'm Kimber Lolly on Plurk and Pinterest and everywhere pretty much on the net, which is cool because no one else has my name. So come look me up, find me. Thanks for coming to watch. This is great that you're coming to watch. We're really, really happy about it. Um, it's fun to get comments. Thanks everyone for commenting. We've had so many people, well, so many people, for us anyway. It doesn't matter. We're not here to win a contest. I am. We're just, <laughs> we're just here to have, have fun and to make movies, to make videos. It's kind of fun, right? That's what we're yeah. doing. Um, but come and join our Ravelry group. We have a bunch of people joining. Um, some really, really cool people joining. I think we have about 33 members now, which isn't too many compared to a lot of yeah. my video podcasts. But can you not do that? I can check. No, no, no. Um, because we, we are trying out a new camera. I bought a new camera today. And we're hoping that this will be a little bit better. It's kind of fun. It's much, much better because I'm now looking at the camera instead of someplace else. <laughs> it's fun. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to visit us. Um, I'm just going to talk about what we're doing. I, I could tell you what I'm going to do, but I'll probably forget half of it. I have my show notes on my lap. I'm trying not gonna, I'm gonna try not to sit and read those. Um, yeah. I wanted to say a hi to Helena from Willow Fairy Knits. She's another podcaster. I adore her. She's so cute. But she, um, <laughs> uh, she, I said last in my last podcast that if you notice when you watch podcasters, they, they scratch, they play with their hair because they're nervous. I do it all the time. And she said she wasn't doing it or she did it too. Um, it was kind of funny because I didn't see her do it at all. But anyway, hi. Elena, I just wanted to say hi. And um, yeah, let's get right to it. He's working on his. My knitting. strick easel. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it's a strick easel. We don't know what. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> that okay. was the first time when we didn't know what it was. We accidentally said strick easel. Which means? Um, knitting. Easel? And donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. We make mistakes like that all the time, but we just laugh, right? Mm -hmm. It's all funny. All right. Let's talk about what we've been working on or what I've been working on. Um, first things first. Remember last week I showed you my on the shore blanket that was given to me by Petra Luen on Plurk. Thank you very much for the pattern. And last week I had made a bunch of turtles. There she is. She's in my cupcake bag that I made. I love this bag. It's nice and big. I made a cup bunch of turtles. It's a really cute blanket. Made three turtles when we went out and I bought yellow and I bought blue yarn. The blue I haven't started yet. Here's the blue. This is for the fish. And I'm going to make everything a different color. Um, but I did do some ducks. And I'm going to make some yellow ducks. And these are my ducks. Can you see? And what I'm going to do, I wonder if you can see. I'm going to try with this new camera. It was an expensive camera, so I don't know if it's going to be any good, it but is. we'll see. Um, this focusing. is a duck. Is it focusing? Yeah. Cool. This is one of my ducks. And I made two ducks so far. They're popcorn knitting. Love it. It's fun. Popcorn knitting? F popcorn knitting so you can't stop. You have oh. to keep going and knit another. Oh, yeah, I like popcorn. Yeah, like you can't stop eating popcorn. So I have two ducks and three turtles. It's a start. And it's just kind of, you know, whenever I'm in the mood, I do that. I don't have to do it, but it's fun. And I just wanted to show you the system I got. She has charts for each animal. And what I did is I, I printed out the charts in a, in a larger font um, so I could read them. And I laminated them so that I can take a erasable marker and mark off where I am in case I put it down and pick it up again. So this is what I did. This is one of the charts. But I'm, you need, I think, four charts for this. For the duck, you need four of these charts. It's kind of scary, but it's not. It's really not that hard, and once you do them, they're kind of fun to do. So that's that's how I. Hmm? Is it brainless? No, 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 not at all. Yeah. You have to think, but it's fun because you stay awake. See, brainless, I fall asleep. It all depends. It depends <laughs> on your mood and what you're doing. So that's my on the shore with the two ducks in my little box bag. 
with my cupcakes and my polka dots. So that's one thing I've been working on. And I say last week, although we, we do our podcast, what, every two weeks, right? Mm, Sorry, I've got to sit sure. up straight. <laughs> every two weeks. Um, so for the past two weeks. And then I have my hitchhiker. Got a hitchhiker cow, go cow going on. There's no limit. Just go and join and have fun and post pictures. This is my brainless knitting. This is what I knit on when I go to the doctor or I have, you know, um, you know, I just want to sit around and work on something and I don't want to think about it. So this is my brainless knitting. It's my hitchhiker. And this is how far I've gotten. I'm trying to get this in here. And of course I'm in the middle of a row, which is kind of silly because I can't strain it out. But this is what it looks like. Can you do me a favor and will you count how many of these little bumps? Awesome. And show, I'm not quite sure how, how many I had mm. last week. I think, oh no, not that. Yeah, right here. These. Oh, okay. Go one, two, all the way down. One. And we'll see. And this is in one of another little bag that I made, this IKEA fabric. Little drawstring bag. I need a bunch of, bunch of, um, I'm going to write down what, how many I have of these this week, so I know for next week. I made a bunch mm -hmm. of bags for myself. Yep, keep going. We'll see. I love this new camera. It's very cool. So, how many? <laughs> Where are we at? 32. 32. I okay. think. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Counting to 32 is tough. I uh, Maybe it's 31. I'm I've been sure. talking the whole time. It's not fair. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Oh, I... Okay. <laughs> I know you knit memories in your knitting. Yes, and what and what does that memory mean? He found the one notch, because I forgot the purl stitch. It doesn't have a little n little thing on the end, because mm -hmm. I usually do. No, it's not that one. Yeah, there's the little oh, thing. There. And there it is, and that's when I was in the hospital. Somebody listens to my podcasts and knows what's going on. But I was there too. No, you weren't. the The doorbell just rang. Hmm. Interesting. Then I can okay. go get it. Go get it. Go get the door. He's going to go get the door, and I'm going to keep talking. Tell oh, her I'm busy right oh, now. Wait, my finger's in there. <coughs> quick, quick, quick. All right, so that's my hitchhiker. I'm just going to go see about the door. Close the door, please. Okay. It's my neighbor. Bad timing. She's going to have to go. All right. So that's what I've been working on. I've got the hitchhiker, and, um, yeah, another thing I've been working on. This here is Voimiza. And I bought it, it's blue, this is how much I have left. I have been working on this for all week. Here we go. And this is kind of a sneak peek at what it's going to be. <laughs> I hope it works out. I don't know, it's kind of my own design. Um, we'll have to see. I'm kind of excited about it. I love the color. It's absolutely my color. It's all good. Oh good, okay. She's She went home? Um, yeah. Just brought back the um, plate. Oh, okay. We brought a brownies last week. It was my neighbor. I brought brownies over, and she brought back the plate without the brownies. Oh. I know. That's how they do things. We'll have to make some more. Fill up the plate again. So this is my newest project. So we'll see. We'll see if this is anything. And I'm kind of hoping. You can keep working with me. I'm yeah. kind of hoping this will be good. So this is what I've been working on all week. I've had off this week. We had... Vacation. Maybe we've got to move over a little bit because we're kind of out of the picture. We've had vacation Did this I week. Go to the side. No, nope. that's okay. Um, and so that's what I've been working on. So we'll see how far that goes. And this is in my big wedge bag that I made, which I totally love. So there you go. That's that. Oh no. I forgot. After we'll get something. <sighs> I forgot something too. Okay. Well. I forgot my sky scarf, but, and why does this, is this moved over? I don't get it. Okay, so I forgot my sky scarf. Um, you know what? Alexander, would you beam that over, please? Thanks. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad we can beam things over nowadays. Did I tell you we love Star Trek? Oh, we do. And so now we've got technology in our house. 
We beam things around. It's much easier than going to get them. So, anyway, here's my sky scarf that I've been working on, and I'm up to date as of on Saturday, last Saturday. Oh, well, I'm a week off, okay, so I'm a week away, but I usually wait until a while. Come on in. Thank you for beaming that down from upstairs. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Here's my sky scarf. This is how far I've gotten, and I'm trying to look and see. It's hard because it's backwards. This is how far. We had a little bit of snow here, and the days have been really nice in between. Um, all of that? Christmas. Was this Christmas? Yep, that was Christmas all rain. rain and rain, this? Rain, rain. Are you? October. Started in October. Ah, so, like, every this big is a uh, Well, I don't month? know. I don't know how many is in month. Well, 30 mm -hmm. days. 30 rows, back and forth. So, I can that's how she looks. how many Alexander. days you had. <laughs> we're going to keep going, and we're going to be here forever. Cat okay. is trying to get in the door. Let me open it. It is a crazy house, but that's nothing new. So this is my scarf scarf. This is how far it is. <laughs> she <laughs> opens the door, and she goes, Rawr. She's a talker. Okay. So there she is, sky scarf, working on that. That's up to date. Um, oh, no. Sewing. Oh, no. I wanted to show you one more thing. Flip it back, would you? One more thing. Um, my hat that I made, my Berlin hat, I have put it up for sale. It's in, um, for sale in Ravelry. Um, the pattern's up. It's been tested. It works, apparently, I hope. Um, <laughs> it's in sale in my Etsy shop, and it's also in sale in my Ravelry. So you can buy that if you want to. That's what it looks like. It's kind of, it's kind of supposed to be a little bit fluffy. There she is. Oh, wait. We have a bit. There. A bit of the buildings. So, my skyline hat is now up for sale. Um, I have been sewing. I have been sewing quite a bit. And um, what I've been doing is I, when people ask me, they say it all the time, hey, oh, you love to knit. Would you knit me a sweater? <coughs> hmm. I'll buy you the yarn. No, I'm sorry. I won't do it. I don't have the time. I'm not going to knit. I will knit for my kids. I will knit for my family. I will knit for, um, <coughs> but I just don't have the time to knit for it's not going to happen. But I will teach you to knit. I will take the time out to teach you to knit. I have five colleagues that I have now taught to knit. And what I've decided to do is, is sew a bag for each one because they all have these little plastic bags that they bought the yarn in and that's what they carry their stuff around. Don't think it's good. So I have said that I will make a bag for everybody in my group. All of my colleagues, that's part of the whole learning to knit process is to have something nice to keep your knitting in. So, not, not quite yet. Another five minutes. Um, Our special so, guest star just yes, came in. She's going to be here today, too. So I have been sewing bags. Um, I went out and bought a ton of fabric that I absolutely love. I've got to bend forward. Hang on. Over here. Oh my Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. It's an Ikea bag. And they're so noisy. Come okay. across. It's okay. So noisy. Have to deal. Have to deal. I made... Well, this is a bag I made for myself and I never used it. This is going to one colleague. It's um, kind of bright. Orange isn't my color. I love this bag, but I think she'd really love it too. So this is going to one colleague. And then for another colleague, I made this one. It's just some, some 80s fabric I have, and I totally love it. I think it's so pretty. It reminds me of back then. And with matching heart, as you can see on the inside, it's matching heart. The colors match, and it's just a simple drawstring bag, no breaking. This is for another colleague who's from Utah, just like me. Well, I, I'm not from Utah, but that's where I went to college, so she's getting that bag. And then I made a couple more, and my one friend, Steffi, from my knitting group, took one yesterday. Um, and here are the other ones, and what I've done is I've decided I'm going to sell these. Um, I need to make some money to get for the camera and to get more fabric, <laughs> to make more bags to make for people. Mm -hmm. So I have decided to sell some bags, and here's one of them, and I love this fabric. Look at that fabric. Isn't that pretty? And what I did is I have a little tag on them, and it has a cat on one side, I don't know if you can see, and it has little <gasps> rain boots on the oh, other. Yeah, that's one. And on the other side, I've put a little clip with a carabiner. So you can hang it on your on your belt buckle if you want to, and it's a little bit big, but you could put a sock project in here or whatever, and then it has the drawstring, so there it is, and it has my little, my logo, the giving flower, and on the back, the washing instructions. <gasps> so, one. here's one bag that I made, I have another to... bag, hang on, another bag I really made. Really important, I have one really important thing to say, 
what it is. At the end, we can do that. That's a, that's do you have it in your show notes? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, but don't, here, write it. Okay. No, I got it, I got it. We're good, just relax. Well, we have an announcement. This is another bag I made with Ikea fabric, and I have a little story on this one. Do you see that man standing at the bus stop? That's him. He's calling his girlfriend, who he is in love with. That's why there are hearts on the inside. Heart fabric on the inside, carabiner, buckle, tag, little tag on the other side, oh. and it's obviously closable. This one's a better sock bag. It's a little bit smaller, um, a little bit narrower, and, and longer. Okay, so there's that one. And then I made another one with the same material. This girl here, where is she? She's sad. She needs some flowers. Here are the flowers up here, and um, the other side of this one. And on the inside of this is food. <laughs> she should be happy soon. There's lots of food there. So those are the bags that I've made so far. I've made a couple more, but they've already gone to their owners. So, And Steffi took hers yesterday, because I met my knit girls yesterday. So she took hers yesterday. Ah! Okay. There's another thing. Sorry. Hmm? Our donate button. We have a donate button? We want to still add it and we didn't get because we need a PayPal account and we didn't get that yet. Okay, but it's, that's okay. Yeah, I'd rather gonna buy a bag or two, but we'll see. You don't have to buy a bag. I don't know how I'm going to get it to the States. Expensive. Shipping is so expensive. That's the crazy part. But we'll have to see. I'm going to take them to my knit group and see if I can sell some of the bags. Mm -hmm. But maybe we'll get a donate button up there too. Um, another thing? Go ahead with the announcement iTunes? Oh. We have now got a podcast on iTunes. You can find it as the Giving Flower on there. Giving Flower podcast. Right. And right now it's written the Giving Flower written together. But the um, I flower. can change it now if you want to. Okay. Not right now, but oh. we will. Okay, so the Giving Flower has to be taken apart. Our guest star is waiting, but I want to tell you one more thing. CJ Kopeck, she... Um, she has a new podcast, and I was watching her. She's so cute. I have so many podcasts that I love, and I talk about them all the time. But she's a new one, and um, she started <laughs> with a, what did she call it? Something of, of shame. Her wall of shame or her room of shame. She showed her room completely mess with all her stuff because she just moved there, and she needs to clean it up. So she wanted to show the wall of fame, or the, the room of shame, <laughs> wall of fame, room of shame, could you please stop, the room of shame um, to motivate her to keep going. And I said that I would show you a little bit of mine. These are things that we're ashamed, I'm not really ashamed of because I'm not worried, but they're things that have been sitting around and need to get done. They need to get done in a big way. I have a box of shame. It's just a little tiny bit of my shame. But it's a box, and I brought it. And let me see if I can show you. Whoa! Oh, it's my box of shame! It's an Ikea box of shame. Here it is. And I'll just show you a couple things inside. Oh. That's huge. Okay. Oh, the thing is. Um, let, I let have. Us get a special guest. Okay, you can get, uh, get her while I'm talking. I have this. Um, this is a sweater. Rowan yarn worth of sweater. I know the sweater I want. It's, I, it's all ready to go. I need to do it. Um, another one. Two shawls started. Haven't done. Another one. Hello, special guest star. Hang on one second. Here's a sweater's worth of, of yarn. I have the sweater and everything. Haven't started it yet. Okay. Just a little tiny bit of my chin. Right. Just for you. For CJ. We'll pick that's for her. You just hit the computer. I know I'm closing everything up. This is my special guest star. And your name is? Come on over here. You're out of the picture. Alina. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you showing us today? The craft idea of the week. Okay. Here is a kind of picture how hmm. and we can put the picture in at the bottom right I'd love you want to. Okay, let's do that. So just I'd love and okay. these are the steps. Okay, can you step back? The steps to what? To make to draw 
a good bird. Oh, to draw a good bird. Okay. And that's the bird that you drew. Let me see. Let me see if we can... Uh, you, you, did you see it? I think you might have seen it. We'll put a picture in from Pinterest on how to do it. And here it is. We'll show it one more time. I don't know if you can kind of see. She's drawn the steps on how to make your own bird. And I think you did a great job. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Smile. Okay. Thank you, my special guest star. And I think we're done for today. I'm sure I have a ton of stuff that I've forgotten. Um, you probably do. I do. I'm sure I do. But hopefully next week I'll be able to show you my blue, um, my blue project that I'm working on. And some more things. Sky Scarf is continuing. Her mittens haven't been touched. I don't show you the things I haven't worked on. I have a lot of open projects. And I'm just going to show you those things that I've worked on during those two weeks. Um, the things that I've gotten done. We haven't worked on the block of the month. Um, we haven't, uh, because I've been sewing bags, we haven't been doing anything else. But I'm just going to show you the things that I do work on um, to kind of inspire you. If you, oh, if you're interested in, oh, that's it. I wanted to say hi to Kim from New York. She does craft stash. I watched her for this morning for the first time. She's a podcaster. She has craft stash. Her name is Kim from New York. From one Kim in Germany, hi to another Kim in New York. And the funny thing is, she's doing the block of the month as well. She showed her first blocks, and I've shown mine a couple. Alina, <laughs> what is she doing? She's making funny faces. <laughs> Please stop. Um, uh, she's doing her block of the month, and she showed that today. Uh, I thought that was kind of fun. So, um, yeah, then I guess you'll, I'll see you in two weeks when we do another episode. Please come and join our Ravelry group. Say a few words of hi. Fun to have you watching us, and. Um, yeah, hope to see you on Plurk. Maybe we can talk. If you see me, maybe we can get a, um, a what are they called? I, I did this this morning, a reunion, I can't think of the word, where everyone gets together and um, we talk online. It's so much fun with a video. Now I've got a good camera, so we'll have to see. The so one hopefully, you did this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where we talked. So hopefully we'll be able to do that again. Thank you to my guest stars. Um, yeah, guest stars there. Yes, star. I'm your co-host. Mm, thank you for joining me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you guys in two weeks. Have a good few, couple weeks. Be crafty. Have fun. And um, don't forget the craft idea. Don't forget the craft. Idea. Okay. Bye. Bye.